Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Welcome to part one of a series of videos in which I'll provide a rundown on some cool features of a consolidated mod that I've assembled for the game Icarus First Cohort. The consolidated mod I'm presenting in these videos has a number of embedded mods created by a number of people in the modding community, including myself. If you've never installed a mod before, don't worry, it's super easy to do. And in this part one video, I will walk you through how to get and install my mod files for the game. It won't break the game. You can easily revert back to normal gameplay at any time. What things do I change with the mod in the game? Well, a bunch of stuff that essentially makes the game a bit easier to play without taking away from the basic mechanics and gameplay. With this mod, you'll be able to move faster, carry more stuff, jump higher, uh, take no fall damage, and a whole bunch of other enhancements that, in my opinion, make the game more enjoyable with respect to grinding for resources. And if you're a builder, provide some starter kits to get your bases built quickly. To get the mod files, jump over to my GitHub page at the following URL. A complete description of the mod features is included in the README main page that first comes up. I will also be posting several videos on my YouTube channel that will go over these features in case you want to see the mods in action before deciding if you want to install them. To get the files, click on the latest release button on the far right of the page, which basically shows you the same README info, but if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you will see the zip files that you need for the uh, under the assets section here. Download the zip file by clicking on it and you will see the file download to your browser at the bottom of the screen. If you need a program that can extract zip files, in my case I use a free program called WinRAR. Single click on the zip file download in the browser and you'll see two files with the extension .pak inside the zip file. One of them is a no weather mod and the other is a total combined mod. The directory these files need to be installed in on your PC is described at the bottom of the readme file depending on whether you're playing Icarus locally or on a dedicated server. Make sure you're not running the game before installing or removing pack files. The pack files need to be installed in this folder shown here in the readme text. However, if you've never run mods on Icarus before, chances are you will not have this backslash mods folder at the end of this path created yet which we will need to make. Let's highlight everything up to the backslash mods part and then copy the folder location path. You can do this by highlighting it and then pressing Control C. I'll open Windows File Explorer. So right mouse click on the Windows logo, uh, select File Explorer and paste the copied path into the address bar like this. Left click anywhere on the address bar up here, select all current text there by hitting Control A, then pasting our path with Control V key, as in Victor, and then hit Enter. You should see a bunch of large pack files uh, that are part of the game in this uh, pack directory like this. Look uh, for the mods folder under this directory. If you do not see it, we need to create it. Uh, click the New Folder button in File Explorer and rename the new folder to Mods and then hit Enter. Now double click that folder to open it. Now I'll bring up my zip utility and I will just select both pack files in it and drag and drop them into the Mods folder we just created. Now it'll be handy to have quick access to this mods folder location for you when you need to remove or update the pack files. So let's um, save a shortcut to this location on the desktop. Let's first make sure all our windows are minimized except for the mods folder location we just created. And now what we'll do is drag a shortcut to our desktop by moving our mouse pointer over the little folder icon in the address bar and then left mouse click and drag to your desktop. Now anytime you want to remove or update a mod pack file, we just need to get to this location quickly without remembering the folder address. Again, if you don't want to install the mods, um, just delete the pack files in this mods directory and you're back to plain old Icarus again. Since uh, Icarus updates quite regularly, you will need to check back with my GitHub page to get the latest files that match the game release and do this process again. I name the files with the version number underscore V and a number and the weekly release underscore W and the week number um, so it makes it easy to see which versions are available. 
So once we got the files in the mods folder, uh, let's start the game and check that the mods have been activated. First thing we need to do is select any character, um, then head over to the workshop and take a quick look at the icons under the seed section, which is in the upper left hand um, area of the workshop items. In particular, these three icons should have changed as per the following image comparison. If you don't see this, the mod is not uh, did not take and is not active, and you need to double check your steps I described. If you see these, the mods are active, and you can start a mission, open world, or outpost to test them out. So that's as far as we're going to go for part one video. Stay tuned for part two and beyond, where we go into detail on how to optimally use these mods and some of the enhancement features that come with it. Thanks for watching, folks. Until next time, enjoy the game, prospectors.